from ABC7, your Suncoast News. This is ABC7 News at Noon. All eyes on Iowa as presidential candidates look to fire up supporters with little more than one week to go. Good afternoon, I'm Josh Taylor. Silky and Ken have the week off. It's not the 12 days of Christmas, but eight days till Iowa presidential hopefuls are counting down. That's how long they have to lock up votes in the Hawkeye State. ABC's TJ Winnick looks at how the crucial race is stacking up. Thanks so much for coming. Five candidates, according to the polls, have a shot at winning the Iowa caucuses with just eight days to go. It's a three-way dead heat among the Democrats. Hillary Clinton will be relying on first-time women caucus goers. We have hundreds and hundreds of women in their 90s who want to caucus for me. Barack Obama will be counting on college students whom he hopes are in state and not on vacation. You are an Iowa student. You can be an Iowa caucus goer. And I want you to prove them wrong when they say that you're not going to show up. For more than any other candidate, I was considered a must win for John Edwards. A lady came up to me after an election. She said, you know, Edwards, I would have voted for you, but you never asked me. <laughs> I'll never make that mistake again. The new compressed primary schedule has made this presidential race even more difficult to predict. In years past, you had time after the New Year holiday to have the Iowa caucuses so we could get poll numbers, we'd see where the race stood, and we had some sense of where the race was at that point. Now with Iowa le less than 48 hours after New Year's Day, we don't really have a way to find out a real sense of this race until people actually go in and vote in those caucuses. Among the Republicans, it's really a two-man contest, Mitt Romney versus Mike Huckabee. Be. Romney has spent more than $16 million in TV ads, yet he still trails in the latest polls. If Romney beats Huckabee in Iowa, one beneficiary would be Fred Thompson, who could then reemerge as the strongest Southern candidate. T.J. Winnick, ABC News, Washington. And to keep an eye on Iowa and all the latest polls, log on to our website at mysuncoast.com and click on links we mentioned. Here at home, a blown tire turns fatal for a man on I-75 in Charlotte County. It happened Christmas Eve near mile marker 168 in the southbound lanes. Troopers say the right rear tire separated and caused Brandy Hayes to lose control of her SUV. The vehicle flipped over and the passenger, Dennis McKinney, was thrown from the car. Troopers say he was not wearing a seatbelt. Hayes was and ended up with minor injuries. New at noon, the results are in from Friday night's DUI checkpoint at the 4900 block of Fruitville Road near Beneva. According to the Sarasota County Sheriff's Office, there were 10 DUI arrests and two for driving without a valid driver's license. And two of those arrested for driving under the influence were Pittsburgh Pirate minor leaguers, 24-year-old Kyle Bloom and 28-year-old Brandon Chavez. Sarasota Salvation Army is busy cleaning up today after putting food on the table for dozens of families in need this Christmas. About 500 people sat down to a Christmas Christmas dinner with all the trimmings, courtesy of All Faiths Food Bank, Publix, and Yoder's Restaurant. The Salvation Army feeds the homeless three meals a day, every day, 365 days a year. A holiday visit brings cheer to patients at Blake Medical Center in Bradenton. Julie McRae and her husband John, both Bradenton residents, stopped by the hospital to put a smile on the faces of patients spending the holidays there. Julie is a residential clown. She visits Blake Medical Center every week to give patients a smile. We visit the patients who go from room to room and collect smiles. That's what we're about. We want to cheer people up and sometimes they're pretty desperate, feeling pretty bad. And we enjoy getting a smile now and then, which is so good. It makes us feel good. What an outfit there. Julie and John say their families are up north and their visit to the hospital on Christmas is an opportunity for them to share the joy of the season. Well, we don't have too many white Christmases in Florida, but many here on the Sun Coast still find a way to enjoy the holiday season without the snow. In fact, residents and visitors alike often say there's nothing like celebrating the holidays in Florida. Photojournalist Matt Ronaldo explains why. I don't need the snow. There is no place in the United States that has better weather than we do right now, right here on, on Christmas Eve. Christmas down in, in Sarasota is fantastic. Uh, Christmas morning, we always go to the beach. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. For Christmas Eve, I'm gonna go on the boat and go for a dolphin watch. And 
see manatees and other stuff. To me, it's Christmas is the same everywhere, other than we're minus the snow, but you still have your lights and decorations and people getting together and enjoying the season and giving. The sun is shining, it's blue skies, it's warm, we're in our shorts. Nothing can be better than to be in Sarasota at Christmas time. Our Christmas biz business is usually pretty good. Are you going to pay together or separately today? <laughs> Thank you and have a very Merry Christmas. And that was photojournalist Matt Ronaldo there. Of course, we'll trade all the white snow for all the white sand. Sure will. I remember when we first moved down here, you know, 20 uh, year, 30 uh, <laughs> years ago, every year on Christmas, my dad would get on the phone and he would call back north to the family there and go, 78 uh -huh. degrees here. What uh -huh. temperature there? <laughs> no, I'm never, sure they're not alone. Many people never do. got old, I guess. <laughs> we have, a, again, a beautiful day today. It looks just nice out there. I mean, it's warm. Yes, we have some clouds around. And the clouds uh, will hopefully be breaking apart pretty soon. To tell you the truth, they've hung around a little bit longer than I thought they were going to. I thought we'd be breaking out in the sunshine by now. But I, I do think that there's some sunshine on the way. We have a kind of a front on the move that's heading to the north. It'll be heading as a warm front. Thank Take a look at our high resolution visible satellite imagery. We wait for this to come out because it really gives us a good indication. You can see basically from Manatee to Charlotte County, that's where the clouds are. The rest of the coastline of Florida kind of starting to clear up just a little bit. I think we'll start to clear up as well. 68 degrees, the current air temperature. The forecast of our Titan radar is not showing a whole lot in the way of rainfall over the next several days with any of these clouds. And I really don't think that we will see any. There are gathering storms back to the west though. We'll talk about what the the effect of those storms on our weather will be over the next several days in just a few seconds, Josh. Thank you very much, John. In Iraq, at least 34 people are dead and dozens more wounded after two separate Christmas Day attacks north of Baghdad. In Saddam Hussein's former hometown of Tikrit, 25 people were killed when a truck bomb exploded outside a residential complex belonging to a state-run oil company. And in Bakuba, at least nine people died in a suicide bombing that targeted a funeral procession. U.S. military officials say that number may be rising. A holiday trip to the zoo became an excursion into terror yesterday. Three men who went to see captured wildlife suddenly became the prey of a raging tiger. How the animal escaped is a mystery. We do know that one victim is dead, with two others lucky to be alive. ABC's Miguel Marquez reports from San Francisco. The Christmas Day mauling came just as the zoo was closing. One zoo visitor was already dead and two others seriously mauled when police and emergency workers arrived and confronted the 350-pound Siberian tiger, Tatiana. As that tiger was attacking someone, they shot that tiger to, uh, to save that person's life. A doctor who treated the injured victim said they're in serious but stable condition this morning and they should survive the ordeal. The wounds were primarily on the head and neck and then on the upper extremities of the two patients, the arms and the hands. Almost a year to the day, Tatiana reached a paw through her cage bars and badly injured a zookeeper during a routine public feeding. Changes in the cages were ordered and made long before Tuesday's attack. There was no way out through the door. Uh, the animal had to, uh, appears to have climbed or otherwise leapt out of the exhibit. That means Tatiana, a four-year-old tiger, not fully matured, would somehow have to climb a 20-foot wall and across a 15-foot moat to escape. On Good Morning America, noted zoologist Jack Hanna was asked if a young tiger could accomplish such a feat. It's almost like an athlete. We see him break records every year. That would be an incredible feat, but could it be done? I'm not going to say it couldn't be done. Exactly how that tiger got out of its cage is something investigators will have to answer. The zoo is closed today so that officials can investigate and search the zoo grounds to make sure that Tatiana didn't have any other victims. Miguel Marquez, ABC News, San Francisco. And still ahead, his new movie may be a holiday smash, but I Am Legend superstar Will Smith isn't exactly teeming with goodwill towards man. Find out what's got the box office champ so upset. Plus, pet therapy, how man's best friend is helping soldiers alleviate stress in Iraq. That's when ABC 7 News at noon continues. Closed captioning is brought to you by Sunset Jeep. Come and see the all-new Jeep Wrangler four-door and all the other trail-rated Jeeps at the Sunset Auto Mall. At the 25th Annual Putnam County Spelling Bee. Here's our comfort counselor, Mitchell Mahoney. Mr. Mahoney is doing his community service with us here today. Hey, you were at Nationals. Remember me? I only remember the top ten. 
Mr. Barfi, your word is Hassenpfeffer. Why, yes, of course. A highly seasoned rabbit stew often served with sour cream. That is correct. I know! Come meet the spellers at Spelling Bee, coming to you direct from Broadway. Are you ready? Yes. The unveiling. Oh, fantastic. Oh. Look at you. You look. Ooh. You almost look like a model, I swear. Wow. I never say this to anyone, but it's, it's perfect. <laughs> Today, people seem to care a lot more about how good they look than how well they see. And that's a big mistake, because an eye doctor can see things you can't, like the first signs of glaucoma and other serious health conditions like diabetes and high blood pressure. Conditions you want to know about sooner, not later. For men and women over 40, it might be wise to look into your eyes to see better and be better. For more information, visit checkyearly.com. A message from the Vision Council of America and AARP. It's back at Cox Chevrolet in Bradenton, Chevy's annual holiday red tag sales event. For a limited time, get 0% financing for 60 months on every remaining 07. Zero for 60. That's five years interest-free financing. Plus, every car, every truck, and every SUV in stock is red tagged to save you the most. When you see red, you'll save green. Hurry it all in soon at Cox Chevrolet, 2900 Cortez Road in Bradenton. ABC 7 Weather is brought to you by The Furniture Warehouse. You're watching ABC 7 with meteorologist John Scalzi. This is ABC 7 Weather. We just showed you the high-resolution satellite imagery showing the cloud cover, kind of breaking apart along parts of the coast, but then hanging tough over our area. We have double-barreled low-pressure areas, one off the uh, Atlantic coast and another over there in uh, Texas, moving into Louisiana. Uh, combining the two of them is the Southern Branch jet stream, and it's bringing the cloud cover across the Gulf of Mexico, and it's basically the front at the surface, which is the reflection of that jet stream aloft, is basically sitting right over us, or maybe just a little to the south of us. And consequently, we've been kind of in and out of the, the potential for clearing. We have some reports around the state of sunny to partly sunny skies. F 15 minutes ago, these were all showing up as cloudy. So it just depends on whether or not a bank of one of those clouds is moving through. But I do think we'll see a fair amount of sunshine this afternoon. Uh, of course, the temperature forecast is highly dependent on how much sunshine we get. But the thing is, we're not seeing too much in the way of any kind of rainfall because these are very thin clouds. And that's why I have the belief they're going to be mixing away in fairly short order. We'll see. 67 in Anna Maria, Holmes Beach at 67, Lakewood Ranch at 68, Parrish coming in at 65, heading on down the beaches, 67 in Osprey, Hidden River at 70, South Venice coming in at 71, I'm on the mouth of Charlotte Harbor, 72, 71, 70 in Punta Gorda, officially at 68 at the airport. Dew point has dropped just a little bit. The wind's out of the northeast now at about 9. The, the drier air is located just a little bit to our north. I don't know how much of that drier air we're going to see at the surface. And consequently, I think we have a decent chance of seeing some fog over the next several mornings, just like we did this morning. Most of the dry air, I think, will be from about Pasco County northwards. Uh, Tallahassee, Jacksonville, Panama City, all seeing some pretty chilly temperatures this morning, even some reports in the 30s because of that dry air that's uh, located there. Notice how the clouds kind of tend to want to drift a little bit further to the north. That's because connecting those two low pressure areas is a frontal system, half of which is composed of a warm front. And as that system lifts to the north, we'll start to catch that warm front effect starting as early as tomorrow as temperatures begin to rise up near the 80 degree mark. And I think we may even get to 81 or 82 as we head through the remainder of the work week. Not much in the way of any kind of rainfall Unfortunately, we sure could use the rain, but fortunately for parts of the deep south, drought-ridden deep south, the chances for some appreciable rainfall is looking pretty good over the next several days as these little areas of low pressure ripple up to the north. Right now, a thin band of snow accompanies this low pressure area in parts of 
in Louisiana and back into Texas. Could be some severe weather in parts of Louisiana with that particular system. It's not going to be heavy snow to the north of that, but there'll be some scattered snow showers really all the way from Michigan and Illinois all the way down into the uh, northern parts of Texas. And then back to the west, another low pressure area moving on shore promises the Olympic Cascades and northern Rockies and perhaps another couple of inches of snowfall. They had up to 19 inches of snow in Colorado before the system dove further to the south and is now located where it is. Temperatures, generally speaking, not too terribly bad. That's why most of the uh, precipitation on the eastern seaboard falling as rainfall. 43 in Charlotte, 40 in Washington, 37 in uh, New York City. Back to the west, that's where the colder air is located. 17 Denver, 22 Salt Lake City. As far as the forecast for us goes, well, we had our low tide at 918. The high tide won't come until 426, kind of in between the two on the way to the high tide with two to three foot seas and a light chop. Not a terrible day for boating, really, and pretty fairly light winds out there, shifting northerly winds at five to 10. In the extended range, well, we'll put in a 10% chance of showers today, but I'm, I'm not even sure that it was worth putting that 10% in. The real appreciable rain chances won't come till next week when a front stalls over us starting on Sunday. Until then, Warm temperatures, abnormally warm temperatures, mix of sun and clouds, beautiful weather. And I tell you, that fog in the morning, it's it, the visibility, it's not very, I mean, it's pretty dangerous. Thick, down to a quarter mile or less in some places. And that'll be the case again tomorrow, too, I think. So and watch for that if you have to be out and about in the mornings. Yep, in the next couple mornings. Yeah, so it looks that way. Be careful out there. All right, thanks, John. Mm -hmm. Well, we're about to introduce to you a blind Suncoast musician who is very busy this holiday season. So busy, he's completely booked. Sam Lane has been playing the piano since he was three. And as ABC 7's Michelle Riggs shows us, he's turned what many might consider a disability into a lifelong ability. Sam and Anita Lane are a team. As husband and wife, the two travel to different venues to entertain. Sam plays the piano while Anita is a little like a manager. We always say what you see is what you get with Sam. Anita says this one-man band is always booked the entire month of December. There's just something about him. Even when they're not working, Anita says no matter where they go, Sam migrates to the piano in the room. Sam is blind, says he learned to read music through Braille. It took, you know, it took a process and it took a lot of time, like anything else in life. It took, um, it took some time. He says he has sensitive ears, and there's nothing worse than an out-of-tune instrument. We may not know it, but he can't stand it. So he's found a way to help others make music sound like it's supposed to. I wanted to make a difference for other people when they play the instruments, so I decided I wanted to go into piano tuning, and that would help me. Sam says he loves playing for others, especially playing songs he knows they'll enjoy. I like to please others. I like, you know, it's my way of communicating with other people. Maybe that's why people like to have him come play, but it's about them, not about him. In Manatee County, Michelle Rigg, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. All right, well, in just a few moments, we're going to be joined by, you can come on in. Am, I'm sorry. <laughs> Spur of the moment here. We're going to have some cats, and we'll tell you about them and how you can give some of these cuddly guys a home. We'll be right back. <laughs> lose six to 20 inches in just one hour with Slender Life. I lost 27 and a half pounds. I lost 54 pounds. About 10 months ago, I started off at 180 pounds. Wow. wow. Look at these now. pants. <laughs> and they really seem to care about each person. I lost my second set of hips. <laughs> There's a Slender Life near you. Join now for as low as $20 a month. ABC7 and our many friends wish you a happy holiday season. From our family at Florida Southern Roofing to yours. And to the troops stationed overseas, Florida Southern Roofing wishes you happy, happy holidays. holidays. Cochran Jewelers wishes you a very happy holiday. Happy holidays from Ghetto Toyota and Bradenton. Season's greetings from ABC7. 
Did you know that Absolute Aluminum not only builds the best pool cages around, they carry impact windows, metal roofs, outdoor kitchens, designer doors and entries, pavers in any shape or size, house gutters, and even concrete. All done with expert installation. Now how, you ask, does Absolute Aluminum do all that and more? It's easy when you're always building on your reputation. Give Absolute Aluminum a call today. Finally, one company who does it all, Absolute Aluminum. Next on New Martha, it's a famous New York institution. Did you know Frank Sinatra loved to dine there? Now, the chef of Patsy's famous Italian restaurant is sharing his famous dishes with you. Passed down from generation to generation. Next time, tomorrow morning at 10 on ABC7. And welcome back. U.S. soldiers serving in Iraq are getting two new comrades. These sergeants have eight legs and two tails between them. And when it comes to combating stress, they could be a soldier's best friend. Barbara Starr explains in today's Vital to Your Health. Meet Sergeant's First Class, Budge and Bo, members of the 85th Medical Detachment Combat Stress Unit and on their way to Iraq. Staff Sergeant Jack Green is one of the therapists taking the dogs into the war zone. It's going to be a great Christmas present for our soldiers there. These dogs won't be on security patrols or searching for bombs. These are therapy dogs. Budge and Bo will help the troops deal with the stress of combat. The dog has a natural, uncanny way of reducing stress. Um, it's kind of a magical thing. And, and, and human, uh, Americans are dog lovers, and most soldiers are dog lovers. Make friends. The unit tries to help troops cope, listening to what they say about how they feel. The dogs will be used to help the soldiers open up. Well, maybe they don't want to talk to me, but it might do them some good to come up and, you know, pet the dog and meet and greet the dog. And at some point there, they might actually, you know, think we're okay and, and want to ask more about what we have to offer and how we can help them. On this day, Budge and Bo are being officially turned over to the Army by the the group that helped train them. Already, they are used to the sound of gunfire and even helicopters. These dogs will be well looked after. They have boots, uniforms, goggles, different things like that to protect them, just like any other soldier. The dogs are trained to know that when their vests are on, they're working, acting submissive, available to the soldiers who might need them. But like any sergeant first class in the Army, they too get to go off duty. I'm sure I'm going to have people knocking on my door, hey, can I see the dog? And um, I'm, I'm going to have to um, firmly correct them. This is Sergeant First Class Budge. <laughs> and he's sleeping right now. <laughs> Barbara Starr, the Pentagon. Well, speaking of pet therapy, I'm joined now by Diane Thompson with the Cat Depot. Hi, Di Josh. Hi. It <laughs> looks like we have uh, some uh, lovers here as well. Yes, two little sisters. They're about a year and a half old, and uh, they had been adopted as kittens, and uh, the people that had them let them out. <laughs> they're so cute. Yeah, and uh, their neighbor trapped them and sent them to animal services. But luckily they were microchipped, so when they were scanned, they were found to belong to us. And that's one of the reasons we really push microchipping. It's a very helpful way to get your cats back okay. through any circumstances. So now you're trying to find a new home, though? A new home for them now, together, because they've together. always been together. Aww. And as you can tell, they really like each other. <laughs> well, that's kind of something unique. There's not too often you, you kind of get them that joined together. I mean, look at that. Look how they just kind of... <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're adorable, and they'd make someone a wonderful, a wonderful pet. They are lap cats, which a lot of people really want lap cats, okay. and they'll just sit on your lap here and for the <laughs> studio with all the cameras and everything else. They're very calm and they sure are. And, and sweet and gentle cats. And and how old, how old are they? Uh, a year and a half. A year and a half. A year old. and a half. So what can people do if they you know they see this and they want to want to. Take them home. Well, call the shelter and come up, fill out an application, and promise to love them forever and <laughs> give them a nice home. Uh, that's about it. There's a very small adoption fee, and they've already been uh, spayed. Okay. Had all their shots, microchipped, uh, flea prevention. They're very, very healthy cats, and they would really 
like a home for the holidays. And you guys, the Cat Depot is a little bit unique? What? Well, we're a no-kill shelter, mm -hmm. uh, so all our cats are, have permanent refuge. And they're safe with us. Um, so you'll you'll go until you find them a home. But I'm sure somebody out there is going to grab. Oh, I hope so. Guys. I hope so. We really like them to go together. I mean, how could you split them off? They're like Siamese uh, cats. The, okay. Well, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. Thanks, Josh. And, uh, these little guys are so cute. And I'm sure that somebody out there is going to find a good home for them so they can stay together and be happy for a very long time. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, moving on from this to investment. If you have investment questions, we've got some answers. ABC7 business commentator Richard Stern is here to take your calls after the break. Call us right now at 552-3130. It's free. <laughs> ABC7's Adopt-A-Pet brought to you by Dr. Nina's Animal Hospital, offering free pickup service and senior Wednesdays. At the 25th Annual Putnam County Spelling Bee. Spellers, take your places. Which school do you go to? Shut up. Ms. Schwartz and Grubinier has proposed a constitutional amendment lowering the voting age to 10. Your word is cystitis. Hepatitis. Cystitis. Hepatitis. Close enough. Okay, we're out of time. Come meet all the spellers at Spelling Bee, coming to you direct from Broadway. Something strange happens to people this time of year. They look for reasons to buy a new Toyota. We call it the Toyotathon Phenomenon. Now, with available cash back and the XSP Sport Package discount, get $1,450 in total savings on new 08 Tacoma Double Cab models. There's never been a better time to get the new Toyota you've always wanted. Or need it. Hurry in. The Toyotathon Phenomenon is going on now. Having diabetes isn't easy. That's why choosing a diabetic supply company that truly cares is important to me. I like Sarah Care. They deliver my supplies to my home and my copay is 25% less than buying them at the drugstore. I like saving time and money. You may be paying too much for your diabetic supplies. Call Sarah Care for a no obligation insurance checkup and price estimate. Call now, 362-3343. That's 362-3343. You know, testing my blood sugar is such a hassle. Mom, why not make your life easier? Try the Breeze 2 meter. It's the one I use because it has 10 tests in one disc and I never have to code. That sounds a lot easier. <laughs> the Breeze 2 meter from Bear. With no coding and now a smaller blood sample and results in just five seconds, it's easier than ever. That's easy accuracy, answered by Bear. Available at Sarasota's hometown diabetic supply company, Saracare. And welcome back. ABC7 business commentator Richard Stern joins us this afternoon. He's here to answer your investment questions at 552-3130. Our lines are open right now for your calls and questions. It's the end of the year. Uh, we can get some of those things out. Sure, a lot of people are looking for investment questions. And uh, the first person who's already on the line, we'll go right to her, is Joanne from Bradenton. Okay. I think she has one of those questions. Joanne? Yes, I'd like to know um, how a woman can read up on the latest things um, to put some money into, whether it's better for a CD or some mutual funds, or I know everyone says diversify, but I just was, are some books maybe to read. Okay, well, thank you for that question. Uh, first of all, I don't think your question is really gender specific <laughs> at all. That can go to males or females. Uh, the real key, I think, is to try and figure out really what your goal is. I know that sounds simplistic, but do you need current income? That's certainly a question you have to look at. Are you well covered in terms of retirement planning? Are you participating in a 401k, an IRA? Those are the kinds of things you really should be looking at first. Then it would be my idea that you should sit down with a professional, try and explain to him or her what you believe you're trying to accomplish, and then, depending again on your risk tolerance, depending on your age, depending on your needs for income, then I think you could probably get together with a pretty good reading list, both on the internet and at the library, and uh, do some independent reading, if you will, come back then to that financial advisor and see if they can't give you some help. All right, good advice there, Richard. Now Thanks, we have another Josh. question. Good. Uh, Johanna from Sarasota is next. Johanna? 
Um, I read in the paper last week about the um, situation where the insurer of the municipal bonds um, was in trouble. I um, was wondering how that's going to affect the municipal bonds. Thank you for that question. I don't know if a lot of our viewers are familiar with it, but municipal bonds, first of all, are issued by either municipalities like the city of Sarasota, can be a county like the county of Manatee, or it can be a state as if the state of Florida. What that means is that the full taxing authority of the particular municipality is the guarantor of the bonds. Many municipalities will then go to a separate insurance company. What the ladies call is referring to is a company called MBIA. There's another Another one called AMBAC. There are a number of them out there, and their credit rating is possibly going to decline. If it does, the question is, what is the impact? If I own $50,000 worth of a particular municipal bond, what's the impact? Well, in all likelihood, the impact is probably zero, and the reason for that is the municipality does have the ability to raise taxes to cover its own debt, but should there be a problem, they will. The insurance company is on the hook for the following. Timely payment of interest, which means semi-annually, and payment of the debt at maturity. At this point, I don't think it's had any effect. It could affect the sale price if you wish to sell your bonds, but otherwise, I don't think it's too much to be worried about. Okay, thank you, Richard. And again, if you want to call, we got a few more minutes. The number is 552-3130. We'll try and answer some more questions. But while we're waiting, Richard, what should people, you know, at the end of the year here, what should people be trying to tie up some of those loose ends here? Well, there are several loose ends out there, Josh. And I think one of the things people, we've talked many, many weeks now about taking gains and taking losses. You should either look at your account online, call your investment advisor, see if there aren't some things you can do between now and next Monday. And oh, by the way, if you do sell something next Monday, even though the trade technically won't settle until 2008, it would count as a 2007 transaction. So that's important. Also, from an estate planning standpoint, certainly make sure you sit down with an attorney and a CPA and make it your uh, New Year's resolution to get your house in order because there are an awful lot of people who have good intentions, but unfortunately, good intentions don't create revocable living trust. They don't help you balance assets, et cetera, and those are all very important things. Yeah, it's a good time to get started out on the right foot this year. Most definitely. Uh, okay, then we got another caller on the line. We have Terry from Inglewood. Go ahead, Terry. I have uh, municipal, or not municipal, preferred bonds. Stock? And uh, I want your opinion on what uh, the impact of bank preferred is going to be now with the mortgage crisis. Thank you. We're getting some really good questions today. Um, bank preferred stocks. First, let's make sure our viewers understand what a preferred stock is. A preferred stock is kind of a hybrid. Uh, it is acts like a bond in the fact that it has a fixed rate of return. It acts like a stock because it's traded on either the New York Stock Exchange or an exchange such as NASDAQ. From that point forward, though, they do change, and that is the guarantor. Let's say, for example, it's a Bank of America preferred, or pick any Wachovia Bank preferred, or a Citigroup preferred, or take your choice. The underlying guarantor, the bank, is in fact responsible for the debt if, in fact, that underlying guarantor gets into financial problems, the first thing they're going to do is what? Cut their common stock dividend because the preferred is just that. It is preferred. It is senior to any common stock dividend. So I think the likelihood of preferred defaulting isn't zero, but it's certainly very small. But the likelihood of banks having problems and perhaps cutting their common stock dividend is very real. All right. Well, you got all the answers, Richard. We try. <laughs> well, we got one more question. Hopefully, we got the answer for that one. We have Steve in Sarasota. He's our last call of the day. Steve. Good. Good. Mr. Stern, thank you for taking my call. Sure. Uh, my question is, I have a uh, 401k, and I'm currently putting 10% into the 401 with a matching company match of 6%. Should I go more? I'm young. I'm 49 years old. Well, first of all, congratulations for doing what you are doing. It's really a, a question of cash flow. Uh, certainly the fact that your employer is matching 6%, presumably if you do at least 6%, then they're going to match you dollar for dollar. Everything over that uh, is certainly to your long-term benefit. And if you're able to exist on your current income net of a 6% uh, match but a 10% deduction, uh, number one, I applaud you. And number two, continue to do it for as long as you're... Uh, fiscal needs permit. 
All right. Well, Richard, we got to breeze over some of these things, but how can people come and talk to you if they need the, you know, more in-depth? Well, I am in the brokerage business. I don't think that's a secret. I've been on <laughs> ABC7 now for a little over 20 years, and they can contact me in my office, or they can just call here at the station. Either All right, one. Richard. Well, it's always a pleasure. Josh, good Thank to you see you. Happy much, New Year. Sir. Happy New Year to you. We'll be right back. Are you ready to be heard? Haven't talked to your family in a while? Want to give a shout out from overseas? ABC7 lets you post it. Send us your video greetings or get in front of our cameras at events. Post it at mysuncoast.com. Monday, January 7th. Bring it on! Team Bruno, Team Carrie Ann. They're not judging stars, they're making stars. Dance War, Bruno versus Carrie Ann. The competition begins Monday, January 7th, 8, 7 central on ABC. We're out to break a sales record this year. How do we do it? With the best sales team and a complete understanding that we can replace these vehicles, we just can't replace the customer. Hi, Scott Johnston, sales manager of Coast Cadillac Saab. Now's the time. You've waited all year for this. Every 2008 model at the lowest prices of the year, even our 2008 CTS, Motor Trends Car of the Year, they all must go. So don't wait any longer. Come see us today. Happy holidays! It's the most compelling museum exhibition of our time. Bodies Revealed, seen by millions worldwide, is now open in Sarasota for a limited engagement. Real human bodies like you've never seen before in the most talked about exhibition ever. People say you have to see it to believe it. Don't miss it. Bodies Revealed, now open for a limited time at Gee Whiz the Science Museum. Visit bodiesrevealed.com for ticket information and see it before it's gone. Happy holidays! Are you ready to be heard? Haven't talked to your family in a while? Want to give a shout out from overseas? ABC7 lets you post it. Send us your video greetings or get in front of our cameras at events. Post it at mysuncoast.com. From the creator of Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy, Merv Griffin's Crosswords. Hosted by Ty Treadway. Game on! Yeah. Merv Griffin's Crosswords. Crosswords, only on ABC7. Welcome back. Well, it's not like she had anywhere to go, but Martha Stewart says she used some of her time behind bars crafting a pretty elaborate nativity scene. She showed off some of the pieces from it on her Christmas Day show. The creations she came up with were all fired and glazed at the prison where Stewart did time in 2005 for lying about a stock sale, speaking of Richard Stern. And remember, you can catch Stewart's show right here on ABC7 weekday mornings at 10. Well, Dr. Phil isn't joining those blaming Lynn Spears for the troubles her daughters Brittany and Jamie Lynn are having. Dr. Phil tells People Magazine that Lynn Spears is, quote, a great dedicated mother and says that Brittany and sister Jamie Lynn are lucky to have her 16-year-old are lucky to have her. 16-year-old Jamie Lynn Spears shocked the entertainment world last week with the announcement she was pregnant. Actor Will Smith is furious. He says websites quoting him as saying Adolf Hitler was a good person are getting it wrong. It began with an interview in a Scottish newspaper. It said Smith believes everyone is basically good and he goes on to quote him as saying even Hitler probably thought he was doing good. But the actor says they left out the part where he said he still thought the Nazi dictator was bad. Smith has now put out a statement saying how angry he is and that, quote, Adolf Hitler was a vile, heinous, vicious killer. Former NSYNC boy band member Lance Bass is wrapping up his successful debut run in the Broadway musical Hairspray. At the beginning of the new year, the 27-year-old actor and singer recently published his autobiography in which he writes about being gay. Late jazz legend Cab Calloway is among seven musician, art, music artists who will be honored with Grammy Awards for Lifetime Achievement in February. Other honorees include film star and singer Doris Day, composer and songwriter Burt Baccarat, and the rock group The Band. And on a sad note, note, the music world has lost one of the best-known jazz pianists. Oscar Peterson has died of kidney failure. The Canadian musician's career spanned seven decades. During that time, he played with such greats as Count Bassey and Ella Fitzgerald. Peterson was 82. Well, the words thrill of victory, agony of defeat never rang truer than when describing that fiercely competitive, emotionally draining, primetime sport of competitive spelling. And joining us now is one of the six <laughs> phonetic pubescent pugilists who will be duking it out at the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee. And he is known as William Barfee, who was uh, actually one of the finalists 
last year in the spelling bee, otherwise known as the actor Eric Rodiger. Eric, thanks for coming in today. Thank you for having me. Sure, Thank appreciate you. it. It's good to be here. It's now, William Barfay. Barfay. We, we have to make sure that we yes, pronounce Yes, we don't want to insult him. Right, right. Now, may I say that when I heard that there was a musical comedy about a spelling bee, and my wife was dragging me to it, I thought, oh, well, that sounds like a load of fun, a musical about a spelling bee. When I went, I never laughed so hard in my <laughs> life, and it turns out I saw it in Chicago, and you were in it. And I, I was the uh, the character William Barfay. And you were Chicago. hysterical. Thank you very Absolutely much. Absolutely hysterical. We had fun. We had fun there. We're having fun here. We're going to be at the um, the Van Weasel clamshell. I believe yep. it's yep, that's designed yep. by the purple, Frank Lloyd Wright. Uh -huh. Amazing. Now, if if you have not seen this show, I, and even if you have, you got to go see it again or see it for the first time. It is hilarious. It is uh, uh, about the, the 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 competitive spelling bee of a, of six, I guess, uh, mm -hmm. uh, adolescents and yeah. their uh, semi adolescent adult uh, <laughs> uh, coaches. And, right, uh, right, and teachers, parents, uh, uh, everybody involved with the uh, with the bee and hosting the bee. Yeah. And I think of all the shows I've seen, this has got to be one of the most character-driven shows of anything I've ever seen. So many excellent characters. It's a brilliant ensemble. They have uh, kids that you can identify with no matter where you're from, who you are, what you've ever done. And if you survive through adolescence, if you survive <laughs> puberty, you'll get the show. It's really funny and it's full of universal truths that we all grew up with. It has just rung true with, uh, with audiences who have seen it time yeah. and time again. Absolutely. And one of the fun things about this show is that you occasionally bring up people from the audience to participate. Every show we bring up four audience members that come in to, uh, to participate in the B and spell with us. And I believe tonight we've got uh, Our someone. Our Bob Harris. Who Bob is, uh, is going to be there. Our yeah. in the evening is going to be up there uh, spelling, uh, trying to spell. Yeah. Yeah, pretty I, neat stuff. I don't know if he's a good speller or not. So I don't I, know I, either, but time will tell. I hope so. Now, do you ever have uh, do you ever have uh, interesting experiences when you bring audience members up as you go? Oh yeah, I mean we we've had uh, we've had people who think they're at an audition and they they perform <laughs> and they bring their own character with them. But even if even if you go and you act like yourself, you're still bringing a character we haven't worked with before, and and that's very exciting. It keeps it very fresh for all of us. Do you ever get uh, audience members who come up there and just blow you away with their Spelling oh, prowess? we've had people go on forever, even when we don't need them in anymore. We, <laughs> oh, we just keep giving them word after word, and they, there are some people out there that really understand this language, and they have a grasp of it. Now, when I saw you perform, your, your character is uh, noted as being one who spells out with his toe. Oh, yeah. And if you've seen the, any of the, um, uh, the, 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 the documentaries on spelling bees and things, there was one, I guess, where the kid was noted for spelling with his finger. Inside. Oh, yeah, yeah. So there, there are really parallels in the this show. D do you draw from the the, the the real life characters that you've seen? Or yeah, as a cast, we would we would go watch uh, uh, Spellbound and other movies. There are documentaries for spelling bees. There's the ESPN televised spelling bee. That Incredible. Prime you can time. Yeah, absolutely. You can uh, you can really glean a lot from these kids and how seriously they take their spelling. So. I tell you, it is a hysterical show. Go see it. It is on through the 29th at the Van Wazel. There's the ticket info. You can go to mysuncoast.com to get more information. Eric, thanks so much. I hope we can get some sunshine in the forecast for you over the next several days. So I hope so, yourself. too. Really hysterical. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. We'll be right back. Live Greyhound Racing will continue at the Sarasota Kennel Club. Soda Kennel Club, run with the big dogs. Ready for something new? Freedom Boat Club makes this easy, affordable, exciting, convenient, awesome. As a member, you choose from a great selection of boats in over 50 locations. Just walk on the dock to a boat that's ready for you for an adventure that's within reach. Call Freedom Boat Club at 888-781-7363 to find out more about hassle-free boating. Own the water, not the boat. Bowfire, an entertainment phenomenon, a class act from start to finish. Enormously entertaining, The Washington Post. 
you will call it unbelievable. Bowfire, an evening of show-stopping hits. Awesome, the record. Bowfire, Wednesday, January 9th at 2 p.m. and 8 p.m. at the Van Wazel Performing Arts Hall. Call the charge at line 953-3368 or vanwazel.org. Sometimes why? Wheel of Fortune, 26 letters celebrating 25 years. Tonight at 7 on ABC7. Welcome back. We're joined now by two guys, well, myself and Chef Bobby V, two guys who wouldn't be caught dead at a spelling bee. <laughs> I can tell you that much. But Chef Bobby V from uh, Aprons Cooking School in Publix. What are we doing today, Bobby? Well, what we're going to do is an appetizer. It's Wednesday, and on Wednesdays, we usually do, there's a flyer that comes out, has a nice recipe, and it has three recipes on it, but I can't do all three of them. What we're going to do is a stuffed pepper. Okay. Okay? You're supposed to get the mini stuffed peppers. We sell them there, you'll see them, and, you can, and this is something real nice you could do, I brought the bigger ones. But what this is, it's a stuffed pepper that's not stuffed and cooked, the pepper's raw. Okay. And we're gonna, it's real easy, and it's one of these things, if you're going to a party on <clears throat> New Year's Eve or something, you can make them up, wrap them up, you know, put them in a refrigerator and bring them with you. That sounds like a good idea. And what's the, this right here, this, this looks is good. A, this is a little, it's, it's a spreadable cheese, it's Borson cheese, it's really soft and it has chives in it, okay? I like it. Okay, what I did was I took some just regular whipped cream cheese and added to it just to get more out of it. Okay. Okay, this is what we have here. I was playing with this before I made a mess. Anything with chives I love. Oh, it's good. And uh, keep in mind, when I make this, you can do whatever you want with it. Sure. Okay? But we're going to put some cool flavors in here. We're going to take some walnuts, toasted them, and chop them up. Okay? I'm a little nervous with nuts and stuff like that. Well, see, that's the thing. If you're going to bring it to people's houses, you have to right. make sure they're not allergic. But okay, that's <laughs> I'm always making, important. I'm making it here. If someone's <laughs> allergic, sorry, I'm making it. That's the I, way I it is. I don't think it'll go to waste <laughs> after no. the show's over. No, these are <laughs> craisins, the dried cranberries. Okay. okay, nice flavor with the chives and the cheese. Okay, we are going to take some green onions, the scallions. You can tell I plan to get messy. I got this nah, on. I don't think I'm getting it. I don't even have everything on the stove today. All right, so what we do now is you take this, and it's not a bad idea. Now, don't make this and then put this in the refrigerator and stuff your peppers later because then it w it's going to harden up for you okay. and it won't work real good. So you mix all this around and make a mess like I'm doing. Now, what happens when you put it in the pepper and then put it in the refrigerator? That's, the, that's what you should do. Okay. And then it's real nice. So what we'll do is just mix this around a little bit. And with the peppers, all right, I cut them, but I'm going to show everybody something here that's pretty cool. Now that looks pretty festive yeah, just on yeah. its own. People eat with their eyes. I know they eat with their mouth, but, you know, you Got see you. these things first. I'm yeah. just making... I definitely eat with my mouth. No. <laughs> well, okay. partying. <laughs> Never mind. What I did was I took red peppers and yellow peppers. And what you want to do is you cut them in half, and I take a spoon, and I scooped out all the seeds and all the white membrane. Mm -hmm. Now, here's a little key. Now, does that get in your eyes or on your hands? You got to worry about that with these types of peppers? No, nah, nah, no. These, these are sweet peppers. Okay. Don't have to worry about it. If you can bring some stuffed jalapenos, that'd be exciting. Yeah. But what we do, what I do is if it kind of, if you put it down, it kind of rolls to one side like mm -hmm. this. What I do is I take a knife, and I just... Make a little flat okay. part down there. Did this for some with the yellow peppers there. Now that's just uh, a little trick. That would a little a trick. It's, it's, yeah. it's all for presentation. So what I'm going to do, and what I want to show you here is the mixture is pretty cool. You take your peppers, and I'm going to show you how we, all the different things you could put on a platter if you went to somebody's house. You take this stuff. You stuff your peppers. It smells fantastic. Yeah, okay. Now we're going to do all four of these, and I want to show you the cool stuff you put on. I'll see. It didn't fall to the side. That you put on your platter with it. We got about a minute. No, we're good. And the thing with this is, is it's called stuffed mini peppers, and it's really cool to do with the mini peppers because you obviously just can't pick this up and eat it mm -hmm. right like this, but I did it so I can cut it up. Everyone can eat it later. All right, we'll do one more pepper. We'll put it here. And then what I did was I took some black olives and some green olives. You put it in the center of the plate. Keep in mind, like I said, this is all for, you know, for a party. If you're going to someone's house. It looked like you know what you're doing. I took a little broccoli, put it <laughs> over here. You know, I, I kind of do this sometimes for a living. But it's it's fun. You, you kind of put this stuff down. You have your stuffed peppers. You have some green pepper. I mean, some red peppers, yellow peppers. The green I'm not happy with. I don't like green peppers that much. A little bit more of this on top. And, Josh, that's pretty much it. It's just uh, mini stuffed peppers for... Uh, 
New Year's Eve. All right, and of course you can That's find it. this recipe on our website. We certainly appreciate you coming in. It smells, it looks good. Cool. And uh, please check that out. And we'll be right back. Okay. Here's a special treat for antiques lovers. The Sarasota Antique Show this weekend with over 60 exhibitors from all over the U.S. and Canada. The Antique Show continues its annual tradition of offering a wide variety of quality antiques. You'll find furniture, art glass, porcelain, crystal, sterling, paintings and prints, jewelry, and much, much more. It's all happening this weekend at Sarasota's Municipal Auditorium on North Tamiami Trail next to the Van Weasel Performing Arts Center. This holiday season, have fun and enjoy yourself, but be safe. If you or someone you know has had too much to drink, get a tow before you go. The Tow to Go program is a safe and free way to protect drivers on the road. Just call Tow to Go at 1 800 AAA Help. With one call, a tow truck will come and take you and your car home. The number is 1 800 AAA Help. Make the call that could save a life. Your friends at Budweiser and ABC7 want to thank you for drinking responsibly and using a designated driver. Now at GCO, we've got to move millions of feet of top quality flooring at bargain prices. The nationwide carpet and flooring inventory sell-off at GCO Flooring Outlet. Carpet, laminate, hardwood, tile, and more. All on sale at unbelievable prices. Save up to 50% on carpets and floors. Huge savings. We're blowing out our inventory at GCO stores across the nation. Pay way less on in-stock floors. Plus, make no payments till 2009. Same as cash. The nationwide inventory sell-off. Now at GCO. This is my sun coast. My sun coast. My, my sun coast. You'll find one student, one peer group, one faculty member making a difference. ABC7 puts a spotlight on schools in Manatee and Sarasota County to educate the Sun Coast on the exceptional students and faculty we have right here at home. If you know someone making a difference in school on the Sun Coast, setting the stage for success and integrity, email mysuncoast.com. Click on Spotlight on Schools. Welcome back. Did you get more gift cards than gifts this holiday season? Well, you're not alone. Bloomberg Jill's Michelle Steele reports from the New York Stock Exchange. There's some concern that last-minute Christmas shopping failed to save retailers from the slowest holiday season in five years. The International Council of Shopping Centers predicts November-December sales will miss its forecast of a 2.5 percent gain. Meantime, Target says December sales may decline. That's after customer visits slowed following the Thanksgiving holiday. And it's a different story for Amazon.com. The Internet retailer says the 2007 holiday season was, it, was its strongest on record, though it did not provide specific specific profit figures. Now, aside from the retailers, we do have some disappointing news from the housing industry. Home prices in 20 U.S. metropolitan areas fell in October by the most since year-over-year -year record keeping began in 2001. That's according to a survey, by the way, by Case Schiller. Overall, property values fell 6% from October of last year or more than forecast. At the New York Stock Exchange, I'm Michelle Steele with the Bloomberg Market Update. You're watching ABC7 with meteorologist John Scalzi. This is ABC7 weather. 68 degrees, the current air temperature with a dew point of 59. Should get up to around 75. Maybe a little warmer if we break out into the sun. Most of the heavy cloud cover lifting to the north as a warm front drifts northward. As it drifts northward, our temperatures will start to climb over the next several days till we get up to around 81, 82 degrees. Of course, if we get enough sunshine today, we may do that as well. But I think we'll probably be closer to the mid-70s today. The sunshine should start making itself felt on the sun coast over the course of the next couple of hours, I think. Low pressure moves off to the north and to the east as it does so, drags that front to the north as a warm front. Eventually, a cold front will whisk through here. It'll bring us a chance at some showers as it basically stalls over central Florida. That won't occur till the end of the weekend. Low tide came at 918. High tide comes at 426, kind of in between the two. Two to three foot seas in the light chop and in the extended range. Warm couple of days, then a chance of rain over the later half of the weekend. We'll be right back. Are you ready to be heard? Haven't talked to your family in a while? Want to give a shout out from overseas? ABC7 lets you post it. Send us your video greetings or get in front of our cameras at events. Post it at mysuncoast.com. Monday, January 7th. Bring it on. Team Bruno. Team Carrie Ann. 
They're not judging stars, they're making stars. Dance War, Bruno versus Carrie Ann. The competition begins Monday, January 7th, 8, 7 central on ABC. Next all new Martha, it's a famous New York institution. Did you know Frank Sinatra loved to dine there? Now, the chef of Patsy's famous Italian restaurant is sharing his famous dishes with you. Passed down from generation to generation. Then, looking for some last minute gift ideas? Look no further. This festive craft is the perfect gift for that hard to shop for friend. Plus, welcome your guests with the most beautiful and simple holiday decorations. Candles made by hand. They're so simple to create. Next all new Martha. Tomorrow morning at 10 on ABC7. ABC 7 Weather is brought to you by Cox Chevrolet. Zero down, 129 a month. Zero down, 159 a month. Zero down, 189 a month. Cox Chevrolet in Bradenton has hundreds of pre-owned vehicles for every budget. Chevy trucks, Ford trucks, Toyotas, Mazdas, Nissans, Hondas, and dozens of SUVs. Plus, at Cox Chevrolet, every certified pre-owned vehicle comes with a new car warranty and new car finance rates. Hurry to Florida's big Chevy machine, Cox Chevrolet, 2900 Cortez Road in Bradenton. Welcome back. Finally, this afternoon, we're going to introduce you to members of an extraordinary club. To join, all you have to do is give away half of everything you earn. Here's ABC's Andrea Canning. A single fraction. So we now have the natural log. Richard Semler is a math professor, a book editor, and a maintenance man. Even with three jobs, Semler lives in a tiny apartment, but he's not working so hard to get more, he's working to give more. Okay, enjoy your meal. Semler has donated nearly a million dollars to six charities over the past 30 years. Here's your dressing. His money is spent feeding the homeless and building houses for families in need. They broke the mold when they made him. I prefer to live in a small apartment. I prefer to drive an old car so that I can contribute 55 to 60 percent of my income. Okay. And to me, I get a lot of satisfaction out of that. Semler belongs to a very exclusive club that anyone can join. It's called the 50 percent league. Members give away at least half their income to charity. The group is made up of about 100 members. Collectively, they have given away more than a billion dollars over the past decade, donating to all kinds of charities from cleaning up the inner city to cleaning up the environment. Just about everybody said that it was one of the most joyful acts of their lives. The idea started with Chris and Ann Ellinger, who decided to give half their money away when they came into an inheritance. And I remember feeling anxious beforehand, is, are we going to regret doing this afterwards? And I look back at it as one of the best decisions we've ever made. They agree giving this much isn't for everyone, but they say most of us can do more. We're definitely not saying people should be giving at 50%. We're saying just figure out what is your true potential? What's an issue that you most care about? What difference do you want to make? Do you think this program might make some difference? David Ludlow is a 50 percenter. He funds an after school program in Boston's inner city. This has made me a truly happy man being able to do this. It's, it's, been, it's been magnificent. It's totally turned my life around. So money can buy you happiness. <laughs> yes, it can. If you give it. It can. Andrea Canning, ABC News, Boston. And when we come back, we'll be back in the kitchen. Please stay with us. Something strange happens to people this time of year. They look for reasons to buy a new Toyota. We call it the Toyotathon phenomenon. Now, with available cash back and the Touring Edition discount, get $1,950 in total savings on a new 2008 Toyota Sienna. That's $1,950 in total savings. There's never been a better time to get the new Toyota you've always wanted or needed. Hurry in. The Toyotathon phenomenon is going on now. The Furniture Warehouse. It's a fun.
fun-filled holiday clearance at the Furniture Warehouse. Enjoy no interest, no payments for one full year and relax with next day delivery. This leather recliner with matching ottoman, your choice of colors, $2.99. This five-piece pop set with two matching chairs, free, $4.99. And these 100% leather sleepers with Sealy Inner Spring Mattress, $8.99. Now at the Furniture Warehouse Holiday Clearance, Sarasota, Venice, Bradenton, and Port Charlotte. And save big. Throughout life, we take many steps. Some steps are as small as how to relieve the stress of your day, what restaurant will satisfy your cravings, or how to enjoy the finer things in life. Open your mind to Attitudes Magazine, featuring travel, leisure, entertainment, and more. It is the way to set yourself free. All you have to do is pick one up. Available at over 500 locations across the Sun Coast. Be your own artist and create the ideal image of your life. Take the next step. Attitudes Magazine. Where do you turn for information about your health? Start here. My Sun Coast Health. Easy to understand explanations, interactive learning tools and videos, news about the latest medical breakthroughs created by doctors and medical professionals focused on critical issues to your health. Education, information, answers. Find it all at mysuncoast.com slash health. Manage your medical decisions better. My Sun Coast Health. Only at mysuncoast.com. And welcome back. We got a final look at our product today, Chef Bobby V. What are we What are we looking at here again? It looks like some kind of stuffed peppers there. It Maybe looks like, It looks like John scalzi has been picking away. <laughs> man, it. It have I like ever? <laughs> that is some tasty stuff. That horseshoe cheese, man, you can't go wrong with horseshoe cheese. It's so though. easy. To, I'm trying to show something you wrap up and take yeah. to wherever you're going. You can get this recipe on our website, Chef Bobby V. Aprons Cooking School Publix. Thanks for coming. Yeah. We'll see you tomorrow.